Have you ever wondered how you can verify the file you download is the actual original file that was intended for you to download and it hasn't been modified? That's what hashing is for in cryptography. The hashing algorithm creates a fingerprint of the file and then when the file gets transferred from one point to another you can use an MD5 or SHA hashing algorithm to verify the fingerprint is still the same and it has not been modified. Recently, as of yesterday of this video recording, Linux Mint ISO files were replaced with ISO files that were created with a backdoor. This backdoor was put into the ISO files that you would download from Linux Mint's website. They luckily identified the valid signatures of the ISO files that you would download. So you could verify that the file you downloaded is the original file that Linux Mint wanted you to see. Other places you'll see these hashes are on the Raspberry Pi website. If you click on Downloads and you click on the Raspbian download, you can download the Raspbian Jesse Lite. Here we can download it from a zip file, which will take us an hour to download, or we can download it through Torrent. When you're downloading through Torrent, you're getting it from another location, actually several other locations on other people's computers. Verify that the file you downloaded from all these computers is correct. You can verify it with the SHA-1 hash that they provide for the actual zip file you're downloading. Let's take a look how we do this. On a Mac, you would do this by using the SHA sum command. So here on my Mac, I am going to take a look at the files in this directory. I have three files, file one, file two, and the Raspbian Lite zip file that we just talked about from the Raspberry Pi website. So to verify a file using the SHA, SHA sum, and then you identify the name of the file you want to check the hash on, file1.txt. And that is the hash of file1.txt. And if I were to edit this file, so I'm going to type cat file1, and I can see that I have my name in there. So now I'm going to change that, echo Aaron Alverson, space greater than file1.txt and now if I cat file1 I can see that the inside the text is different it's changed the name of the file is the same but the data inside of it is different so now if I use the SHA sum command on file1.txt you can see that just looking at the last few characters, you can tell the hash is not the same. Even though the file is the same, the data inside of it is different, therefore the fingerprint is different. So we're modified. So let's do a real world example and check out this Raspberry Pi zip file that I downloaded. I downloaded it with BitTorrent. So if I look at this, this is what the hash should be. I'm going to copy this just so I can reference it. And I'm going to paste it in here and hit Control C to not accept that command. Just so I can see it in my hash or my command line. So now if I do SHA sum the Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi file, which starts with a 2016 Raspbian Jesse Lite.zip, hit enter. And it comes back and it says this file has this hash. Again, this isn't a 100% guarantee, but a quick look. I can see that the last six characters, 53B9, 
and the last three, five, three, by. So just to double check, we're gonna look at the website and you can see, let's shrink it up a little bit. 53B9C4, it matches up. Okay, doing this on Windows is similar. Jump over to Windows side. I again have two hash files. File one, file two. Inside of file one, I have text Aaron. And inside file two, I have Aaron Halverson. So if I go to the command line to verify the hash on those files, DIR, I can see there's file one and file two. So I'm going to use the cert util space hash file file1.txt. And there's the actual hash for file one. If I edit file one and add a new line with my name on it, if I spell, it, I spell my name right, and save it, now I go back and I do a hash on that file. I can see now that my hash is, does not match. It's different. And that's how we do the hash for SHA1 hash verification in Windows and how we do the hash verification on the Mac. SHA sum on the Mac, cert util on Windows.